Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday, it's Saturday, it's 4th of July weekend and it is massive stock up grocery haul time. I have not been to Costco for well over a month and we were pretty much out of everything. Not to mention all the good stuff that I picked up at the regular grocery store. So I have a huge, huge massive haul for you. So if you're excited, give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do five videos per week. Check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend and one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come on over, join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. We have some groceries to go over, so let's jump in. So here's the first portion of this massive, massive grocery haul. This is everything that I picked up from Costco. It's actually been a little bit over a month since I went to Costco, so I had a huge, huge haul, and then I'll be sharing with you the rest of the groceries that I picked up for the week. So the first thing I grabbed are these pork and chicken sausages for my dogs. These are currently on coupon, I think like $10.99, which is a really good deal, and they're little sausages, so I can break them into two or three pieces. Corey needed some deodorant, and Dove deodorant is actually on sale at Costco right now as well. I think it was about $11 for four. Also on sale is the Chobani Zero Sugar Yogurt. I was just going to get yogurt at the store, and then this entire pack, 12 cups, was less than $7. That's such a great deal. This particular yogurt has 60 calories and 11 grams of protein, zero sugar. You guys know I love to put a little protein granola on there. And we have strawberry, vanilla, mixed berry, and blueberry. English muffins. Troy's been having breakfast sandwiches a lot. So I'm just going to keep these in my freezer and then we'll just pull them out as we need them. This is my all-time favorite turkey bacon. It is so good. Highly recommend, really good quality, great deal at Costco. You actually get three packs and it's about $14, which is not bad at all. Just the quality and the taste is really good. Of course, paper towels because that's a staple whenever you go to Costco. Some non-drowsy allergy medicine for Troy. I grabbed some for him at Fry's and accidentally got the not non-drowsy ones, so I grabbed those at Costco. Some Ritz crackers for his meat, cheese, and crackers. If you love Ritz or your family loves Ritz, this is a really good deal. It's less than $9 for 18 packs. I also needed some more makeup removing wipes, and so I always get the Kirkland ones. It's the best deal, and I really like these because they're really wet. Some makeup wipes aren't wet enough for me, and these ones are perfect. Lots of chicken because I'm completely out of chicken breast. Some more of my favorite tortillas. These are the low carb La Tortilla Factory tortillas. I love these, both Troy and I eat these and it's about $6 for 20 of them, which is a really good deal. A big, a big block of Colby Jack cheese for Troy for his meat, cheese, and crackers. Again, super great price, less than $7. I don't know about you, but in this area, cheese is pretty expensive, so this was a killer deal at Costco. And then Troy's favorite pasta salad. It only comes around in the summer, so I saw it and I had to pick one up for him. It has has tortellini, olives, mozzarella, tomatoes, and kind of like an Italian style dressing. I don't love it, but he absolutely loves it. A refill of the eight in one dog multi-benefit chews. A few of you have reached out and said that you've been giving these to your dogs. It really helps with all of these ailments. And if you didn't know, both Diesel and Lola are senior dogs. So they get these every day. Diesel takes three. Lola takes two and then Palmer gets one. Mouthwash because Listerine was on sale and whenever mouthwash is on sale, I always stock up. This is a great deal. This is a two pack of men's Hurley t-shirts. You actually get the blue, which I really like, and then the gray. This was like $10, which is such a great deal for two t-shirts. So I picked those up for Troy. You propped up on my paper towels so that I can show you the clothes that I got for myself. It's too hard for me to hold them up and hold the camera. So first thing is this cute little skirt. They had multiple colors, multiple patterns. I got a size large and it was like $9.99. It's kind of a performance type of material, but I thought that that would be super cute because we know it's always hot here. And then I also, for 4th of July, because we are having my in-laws over for a barbecue, I got this cute little USA top. Uh, this is also a size large. I wanted a medium, but they didn't have any, so I just went with the large. And this was also $9.99. Another Costco 
a staple is always toilet paper, so I picked that up. And then I did decide to get some Premier Protein. I got the Cafe Latte one because I've never tried it. And there's a shortage of Fairlife. I can't find Fairlife anywhere, and I needed some more protein shakes for my coffee. So I'm gonna try this one. I'm always up for extra caffeine, and these actually have the equivalent of one cup of coffee of caffeine, and I think it's going to be really good with my shots of espresso. A two pack of the creamy dill pickle chopped salad kit. This is for our little 4th of July barbecue. This is one of my very, very favorite salads. Speaking of favorites, this is my favorite string cheese. I love the Organic Valley Stringles. I talk about these all the time, how they're not stringy or spongy. They really are the best string cheese. And Costco, of course, has the best price for them. I had to grab these. I couldn't pass them up. These are from the brand Rip Van. They have two grams of sugar and they are Dutch and caramel vanilla little waffles. And they are actually individually wrapped. There's 32 of them. They're only 70 calories for two of them, which I thought was a really, really good bang for your calories. And I do like that they are low in sugar because you know I eat a pretty low sugar diet. They were also really affordable, so I had to pick them up. I also grabbed the red, white, and blue frozen fruit blend. It has strawberries, bananas, and blueberries. I've been making a lot of protein shakes or protein smoothies and I went through my entire bag of frozen blueberries from Trader Joe's super quickly so I grabbed a huge bag at Costco. Troy asked for baked beans and this eight pack of the Bush's baked beans was a great deal and we'll go ahead and make some baked beans for the 4th of July barbecue as well. And then for produce I always pick up the big pack of the organic squash. There's zucchini in there and yellow squash. For our protein or our main meal for the barbecue we're going to do kebabs. Steak kebabs, chicken kebabs, and we load them up with vegetables, so I'll definitely use a lot of the zucchini and squash. I also grabbed a huge, huge thing of mushrooms. This is for the kebabs, and then we love mushrooms, so they will definitely get eaten up. And then for dessert, I'm actually going to make a sugar cookie fruit pizza. I've made this before, and it is so incredibly delicious, and you need a lot of fruit for it. So I did grab some grapes. Troy wanted some grapes. Two packs of strawberries, one pack for the fruit pizza, and I probably will make a fruit salad, just chop up a bunch of fruit for the barbecue as well. These are less than $3 per pack of strawberries at Costco. I grabbed some blackberries for the fruit pizza and the fruit salad, as well as some blueberries. This big pack of blueberries is less than $4. And lastly, a big pack of raspberries, also like $4, which is a great deal. That's for the fruit pizza and of course the fruit salad. So that is everything that I picked up from Costco. Believe it or not, this is over $400. This is a huge, huge Costco haul, but will be stocked up for quite a while. So let's go ahead and jump into the rest of the groceries that I grabbed for the week. So here is everything that I picked up from Kroger, which is Fry's where I live for the week. And this will round out my massive, massive grocery haul. So let me show you what I grabbed from Kroger. First, I picked up this tank top. They only had extra large or extra, extra large. So I got extra large and I'm just going to dry it and wash it on hot because that's definitely going to be too big for me, but it was actually 50% off, so it was only $10. And I just needed another just solid black workout tank top. Some stand and stuffed taco shells. These are for our taco night. This is Troy's favorite potato salad, and whenever I see that it's on sale, and this is a really good price, $2.79, I always pick one up. Lots of cheese, as always. So I actually have two bags of light shredded cheese and then a bag of light mozzarella. Some risotto, this was actually on sale for a dollar. It was on clearance and this is a gluten-free risotto so I thought that that would be nice to have on hand for when my in-laws come over because my mother-in-law is gluten-free. They did not have any Fairlife low-fat milk so I grabbed the Carb Master. This one actually has three grams of carbs 60 calories and 11 grams of protein. So it actually has less calories than Fairlife, but a couple less grams of protein, but it will work. I've been making a lot of protein shakes and smoothies and then a gallon of skim milk for Troy. I love bread and butter pickles on my hamburgers and I wanna have another hamburger night. Two kinds of sugar-free jello for my Ninja Creamy ice cream maker. I grabbed pistachio and cheesecake. I actually saw a really good protein pistachio ice cream recipe that I need to try. Some dill relish because we are completely out. We actually only have sweet relish on hand. Some of the Siete enchilada sauce. This was actually on sale for $2.79. Siete products are really expensive but they are really, really clean ingredients. And I'm making an enchilada bake this next week, so I thought I'd pick this up 
much better option, much cleaner, and $2.79 is a great price. Two containers of my favorite cottage cheese, which is the Good Culture Low Fat Cottage Cheese. I had a coupon, buy one, get one free, so I went ahead and picked up two. Paper plates because hashtag convenient. Some cream cheese, this is for the 4th of July barbecue. I think I mentioned, I may have mentioned, may or may not mentioned, but I'm making a sugar cookie pizza for dessert. So it has a sugar cookie base and cream cheese and fruit on it and you can make it fun, red, white, and blue for the holidays, so I needed some cream cheese. Light mayo, because we have been out for a while and I keep forgetting to pick it up. This is the base of that sugar cookie pizza, just a roll of sugar cookie dough. Some crushed pineapple for a recipe, and then some pizza sauce. This is for my Hawaiian chicken recipe that you'll be seeing in on Monday for meal prep. I couldn't pass up this deal. Four pounds of 90-10 ground beef. $4.29 a pound. These, this is the organic grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. This is normally, I want to say, 6 to $8 a pound, so that was a really good deal, and I always stock up and just throw it in my freezer. Some more Laughing Cow cheese. In hindsight, I should have probably bought this at Costco because you get, I think, four of them for... $8 and I paid a little over $4 for one, but this is a staple for me. I eat Laughing Cow cheese almost every day. And then kind of a random item is some of these Frito Munchie salted peanuts. I need about a quarter cup of peanuts for a recipe and then I really don't eat peanuts otherwise. So I didn't want to buy a big jar. So I just picked up the little pack at checkout. A dozen of my very favorite eggs, the organic happy egg. These are the best eggs. And these were on sale for $4.99 a dozen, which is a really good price for organic eggs. And then just a tiny bit of produce, three bell peppers. This is for the kebabs that we're doing for the 4th of July barbecue. And then a ginormous bag of broccoli because I need fresh broccoli for several recipes this next week. So that is everything that I picked up from Kroger. Let's go ahead and jump into what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So here's what is on my menu for the week. So today, Saturday, we are going to go out for dinner. Tomorrow, Sunday, we are celebrating the 4th of July by having a barbecue at our house with my in-laws. Monday, I'm making a beef enchilada casserole. I'm really excited for this. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Tuesday is going to be a leftover night. Wednesday, we'll do some baked tacos. Thursday is going to be chicken, broccoli, quinoa bake. I have some quinoa that I want to use up. And Friday is going to be a leftover night. That way we can finish up all of the meals from earlier in the week. And here are the recipes you'll be seeing on Monday in meal prep. So for breakfast this next week, I'm actually making breakfast cookies. Just something quick, simple, portable, and delicious. Palmer and Lola are playing. For lunch, I'm doing Hawaiian pizza chicken. Also very excited for that. And then for dessert, I'm making chocolate protein bites. This month is all about protein for me. So all my recipes are going to really have a big punch of protein. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for another grocery haul and a massive, massive grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the good stuff that I picked up for the week. There are some amazing, amazing deals at Costco right now. So I feel like for everything that I got, it wasn't as expensive as I thought that it was going to be. And if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because again, I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I upload five videos a week. Don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come on over, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Happy Saturday, happy 4th of July, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!